So hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now in this video we are going to discuss about uh, books that are related to pharmacology. Okay. Now what you can use uh, for for pharmacology. Okay. Now um, you know for pharmacology I would actually advise you to make notes more than referring to a book. You know because uh, it's so much uh, understanding and uh, like uh, that you need notes. Okay. If you don't have notes and you are just reading the books, let me tell you, uh, you are going to fail. Okay. Or you will just pass like that okay because there's so much in pharmacology okay so today i will introduce you with some really good uh, standard books and you know uh, of, of, of course why you need books because we don't just want to pass right uh, you know uh, why because a lot of students i have seen that they only focus on passing the examination and i was like that too a uh, few years ago so why we are all in the medical colleges you know because we had the extra edge when even when we were in school okay so if the school in the school if a chapter was uh, read then did we knew everything in the chapter yes but do we know uh, did we knew uh, things other than what is given in the book of course right we knew that uh, that stuff so we used to solve questions which were really uh, uh, high level so that's the same thing which is which should be done in your uh, medical college also why because this stuff gives us uh, the extra adrenaline okay and you will become really happy with this adrenaline okay so uh, let's start with the books. So let's talk about the book. Now the first book which I'm going to talk about is Katzang. Now you may be thinking Katzang like that's like one of the uh, biggest books and uh, and for, for a subject pharmacology why you need a PG level book. Now in the Katzang, Katzang everything is explained um, uh, like thoroughly everything is explained okay. So if you're reading that book then you will understand the concepts uh, a lot more than, uh, than what is written in your uh, uh, textbook okay don't use Katzing as your textbook of course uh, it's a really book book a uh, really big book uh, you will only be able to uh, you will not even able to cover the complete Katzing in your examination for your examination right uh, I'm talking about not just uh, pharmacology but all the other subjects included that's it's it's that long and that complicated book okay but you know the things which are given in the book are really good and uh, you will understand the form the drugs a lot okay and why is it important because you know you soon we will be in medicine okay not you will be I am, I am studying medicine but you will be in medicine okay so when you are studying medicine you should know about the drugs right so the Katzen will introduce you with how these things works okay because a lot of questions which your patients are going to ask you about the medicine and your family members yeah you can actually convince your patients but convincing family members is really difficult so Katzen can help you in that there is another book and that is also Katzang only and Katzang and Trevor's actually and that is a review book, a board review book. Now in that uh, the material is less than what is given in the uh, the big uh, the big Katzang but in this uh, there are a lot of MCQs which are also given. So a lot of clinical vignettes because you know we need cl clinical in, in, uh, in vignettes because they are first of all they are really interesting, they are really fun and you can uh, discuss them with your friends like I discuss them with, with my friends and we have a lot of fun by doing that. So you can do that too and it will be a good uh, hour for you to uh, learn okay and then they're good for your examinations also right so if you don't want to buy that book big book you can go for the small one the next book which i'm going to advise you which actually i follow and that is i think i have that book i'll show you that book and that is Lippincott's pharmacology okay let me show you so here's my Lippincott okay so yeah the camera reversed right so this is my Lippincott now this is a really good book you know and everything is written in uh, a really nice flow chart so it's easy to remember plus the concepts of uh, Lippincott's are really good because you know I actually first read Lippincott uh, in my first year when I was studying biochemistry Biochemistry was really good in Lippincott. Now in this also, the Lippincott, this Lippincott is really good. Uh, this is for pharmacology and if, and you know when you are talking about the diseases, uh, the, not the diseases but the drugs and the side effects and all, they are really good uh, in this book and uh, you will learn a lot. Okay, And uh, like all the latest drugs and everything is mentioned and uh, there are few MCQs at the back and there is another review book also for the Lippincott. You can follow that but uh, you have some amount of MCQs here also. So you can just learn this also. Okay, so uh, I've used it and I really love this book. Okay, now if you don't want uh, the foreign authors, well, of course, they are really good. Uh, then you can follow something which is of your own country or your own uh, college. So like in India, where I study, we have different books like there is uh, KK Sharma, there is KDT. So I've uh, used the KDT a little and uh, there are other smaller books like uh, GRG and uh, there is one more uh, Shan Bang, I guess. So, you know, these books or everything is there on my website. You can for search for bookeshi.com. The link, all the link to the books and everything is there in the description. Okay. The description is full of links. Okay. So, you can get there. 
uh, and all the different books and their reviews and if I find any new book uh, which is better than these then I'm definitely going to add them okay so I don't follow that policy that what my seniors follow I'm going to follow that too no I'm not like that I will change my books of course I I will choose the books which I really like okay so um, and I think that has given me a really positive uh, attitude I guess and when you uh, visit Bokeshi please do it so in there you can also find some more stuff uh, like I have actually shared topic wise all the videos related to pharmacology okay so they are all uh, topic wise so like uh, if you talk about um, uh, cardiovascular uh, pharmacology then you can go to the section of card cardiovascular ph uh, pharmacology and you can find various videos and all those videos are in English and some of them uh, some of those videos are from international uh, lectures uh, conferences and some are just tutorials by some creators so all of that is really uh, excellent I watched like most of the videos and uh, they really helped me in my exams and they will help you in your exams too I'm sure and uh, uh, those are all YouTube videos okay so I have not actually created any of them uh, they're created by different youtubers and I'm just sharing them on Bukeshi I'm just actually promoting them and I'm not charging anything so if you see any advertisement on those videos the creator or the YouTube depending on their monetization status uh, get, are getting the money I'm not getting anything I'm just promoting them okay so I think you can uh, visit that uh, website and uh, you will really enjoy it okay so I hope uh, your pharmacology exams will be good. So pharmacology was not my favorite subject, but you know, when I'm now reading the medicine, then I think uh, the uh, the subject which I really, really, um, the subject I, uh, but now because I'm reading uh, the med, because now I'm reading medicine, then the subject which I go back uh, most frequently is pharmacology than any other, any other, okay? Okay. So God bless you guys and take care and uh, keep studying and we'll meet in the next video.